hello guys and welcome to the fifth and the final video for this short course if you are still watching don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button thank you so I'm gonna add a method called a uh, toggle as I'm going to toggle between two different displays or two different divs so the first one I'm gonna call it a uh, primary display and the second block of div I'll call it uh, the secondary display only one display only one block of of display will be shown at any given time So I'm gonna be looping through uh, the same set of data So with this one here, I'm gonna display uh, the date but only the day of the week And as you guessed, I'm going to be using the current icon from the font awesome package that we had installed. I'll define two properties. Uh, primary display and secondary display which initially will let uh, the primary display to shown to the user and the method we called it we, is gonna be defined here and what is gonna do is just to switch the property value from what it is now if it is true it's going to be false and vice versa the same thing goes for the secondary boolean property now if we click here it should uh disappear and and we can see the other display just like how we have it here so now we should be able to click on the days itself so I will be adding some uh, CSS classes and style rules the list is style to get rid of the bullets that we have and on the icon we're gonna add the same method that we have called a toggle so we are able to show back the primary display
now we're gonna implement uh, the clicks on the days itself so we can have uh, the information displayed for that specific day for that I'm gonna put the day inside the span element so I can add the method or the event click and I will call the method show details and with that I'm gonna be passing the the data of that specific list of item or day for that we're gonna be using uh, the index Now the data that we we're going to be receiving will be uh, assigned to a property called forecast details that we are going to display it on our template. This div is going to be out of the for loop and it's only going to be displayed if it's clicked on any of the days. And the only thing that we are going to show is the main temperature. You can add as many information as you like in there. So as you can see in here whenever we click on a specific day that specific day is highlighted and it is uh, information is displayed. Now if you click on Friday or Saturday or Sunday you're gonna have the Sunday highlighted. So I'm gonna be passing the specific data for that specific day and I'm going to be passing the index as well so we expect two parameters So the forecast details new, de new data will be replaced by whatever we click on and we are going to define a property called selected index to be assigned to the index that we pass. We are going to need the index to style our selected element we don't really n need any more the NGF because the whole div will only be displayed once we clicked on the toggle so with the NG class we are going to use a class I'll define it later called selected and it gotta meet this condition this current index is equal to the index that we received since we are using the same set of data the the information is going to be similar the selected 
class will only have one property and that is font weight which is going to be bold so now as you can see it's been highlighted on the day that we select however if we click on a different dates is not going to be highlighted for that we are going to pass the index on the other method and also change the selected index as well so it's gonna change and highlight the selected element Okay, so that's it for this project.